I'm Calvin Elizabeth, a wedding photographer based in San Diego. Today I'm going to be talking about the topic of why I don't discount my wedding photography rates and why other photographers might not as well. Some will discount to high heavens, that's just not the way that I go about things and not the way that many of my peers go about things and so I wanted to explain to you guys why photographers definitely a lot of times are going to say no and why they should because I find that that there are a lot of sources out there in the wedding world that encourage couples to ask vendors, specifically photographers, to do the same amount of work for simply less money because they don't want to or cannot pay the price the photographer has set. Now, when I talk about negotiation, that's something that is okay to do, but the way to negotiate is not to say, can we have the exact same thing for half the price? The way to negotiate is to say, hey, this eight hour package you have is a little bit more than we want to spend. Is there anything we can take out to get that price closer to our budget point? Can we maybe do a little bit less hours? Is there anything we can do to get it closer to a price point where we're comfortable? That is more so negotiating and kind of customizing a package. I personally have never really thought it was okay to ask people for discounts because I don't believe that it's very fair to ask somebody to do the same work for less pay. So if you were at your job and your boss said, hey, I'm gonna have you work your full day tomorrow, but we're gonna give you less money. We're gonna cut your pay down by 10 or 20%. I'm sure you'd probably say, there's no way I'm doing that. That's completely unfair. I work hard. I deserve what I want to be paid, which is my fair rate. So the same applies to the wedding world. So you wouldn't probably go to ask your doctor to have you get less charges for your bill just because you don't want to pay them. It's not really how the world works. So I don't really know why people are so comfortable asking people in the wedding industry to do the same amount of work for less money. It just doesn't really make any sense to me. Now, if you have asked people for discounts. I'm not trying to make you feel bad about it. I am trying to explain the other side. And for me personally, if there's something I want that I cannot afford or I should not be spending money on, I either don't get it and I move along to something cheaper or if it's a service, I will usually offer up a trade. So some people aren't so lucky to have this option, but if you do do some sort of work that is a service or some sort of good, that you could perhaps say, hey, could we trade this amount off the package and I can provide you with this? That's perfectly okay to ask, as long as it's a fair trade. So for example, if you are a hairstylist and you want this wedding photographer, you could maybe offer them some free free highlighting or some free haircuts to trade off the package of the photography collection. So that's just an idea that you have. I think that's perfectly fair. The worst they can say is, no, I don't really need that service or I don't need that right now. I just find it a lot more respectful to approach things from a more fair point of view rather than just asking for the same thing for less money. So to get into why a lot of photographers or other vendors or anybody does not offer discounts, myself especially, is one because they are typically charging what they are worth. So as artists and creatives, a lot of us put a lot of hard work and time into building our skills building our reputation and our talent. And for me, I think that what I charge is what I'm worth. And if I were to discount my services, I feel that that would devalue the work that I would do and it would teach people, hey, I'm not really worth the fair price that I thought I was worth, I'm actually worth less. And if you have ever done the same work for less money, it doesn't feel good. You don't feel good about yourself. You feel like you're losing out and you feel like your worth is not valued by your clients. So I want my clients to be people who understand my value and my worth and they're happy to pay my rates because they know that I am worth every penny they spend. Another reason I cannot discount for my couples is because I hire a certain number of people to work with me on a wedding day or behind the scenes or whatever it may be and my team does not take discounts. So if I had to discount for my clients, my team still requires the same amount of pay. So basically my expenses are all staying the same. So if I were to discount, I would be losing out on a lot more money. My team isn't going to take a discount. If I told my assistant I wanted to pay them about $10 less per hour, they would say, no 
way, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna work with you on that. So I have to pay my team fairly and I also expect that I should be paid fairly and I can't really take a discount because I have a lot of people that I am responsible for paying that are not gonna take a cheaper work rate. Another really big reason that I will never discount for my couples is because I put a very large amount of work into every wedding. So for example, I once sat down and tallied out the amount of time that I spend on average for a couple who books me for an eight hour wedding day and an engagement session. And I found that what I am doing between emailing, traveling, shooting, editing, sort of communicating with them in general, putting together their contracts, their invoices, their galleries, doing their blog, doing all these different things, communicating with the vendors, working on the timeline. I spend about 40 or more hours on average for each couple. So I always hear people say, oh, this photographer charges $4,000. It must be so nice to make $4,000 in eight hours. No, 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 <laughs> that's completely not the case. It's more like they aren't even really making $4,000 over 40 hours because they have taxes to pay, they have a lot of expenses, and they have other people they have to pay as well. So I just always find it funny when people think, oh, that's such a really nice, lavish job. You just get to make thousands of dollars in one small day, when really it is so much more work that goes on outside of the wedding day, whether it be before or after. So the majority of my work with my couples is not even on the wedding day. That's just one small blip of me shooting with them. Everything else happens kind of behind the scenes. And I think a lot of couples don't realize how much time we spend with them. And for me, for example, I have also written a book. I write articles every single week to help my couples. So I also have to think about all of the resources that I have poured into the materials that I send to my couples to help them make the most out of their photos. So that's just another reason why I can't discount. I work so, so many hours for my couples and I need to make sure that I am paid appropriately and fairly to cover all of my time and not just the eight hours I'm there on the wedding day. Additionally, I mentioned that I have a lot of expenses, so I don't wanna go into justifying prices. That's not really what this is about because again, I find that I'm worth what I charge, but basically you have to remember that businesses have expenses. So for me, that's my second photographer, that's my assistant, it's the online gallery service, it's my email service, it's my website hosting, it's also my film for the wedding day, which is very expensive to buy that film and then ship it and then have it developed and sent back to me. So there's just a ton of expenses, not to mention the price of the equipment we have. So we really have to make sure that our rates help us be a profitable business because otherwise we would not survive and we would not be able to provide our work for couples in the future. And my last point really goes back to something I mentioned earlier, which is for me, I charge what I find what I'm worth based on my services, my skills, my talent, the experience I provide my couples, the quality of photos I give them, all of the resources that I provide to them, the gifts that I give them, all the help that I provide them with. So I really want to take on couples who think that I'm worth every single penny. And if you go look at a lot of my reviews online, you will see couples saying that. And I love working with those couples. I really appreciate that they truly value my work and they are excited to have me be their wedding photographer. They invested a lot of money with me and there is a great reason why, because they think I'm worth it, because I will give them the photos that they want and that they dream of that are gonna make them happy for their entire lives. So that's truly what I want is to be able to work with clients who don't wanna ask for discounts because they get that I am worth my rates because they know the quality of my work and they know the service I'm gonna provide them with is a one of a kind experience. So those are just all the different reasons why I don't discount. A lot of those will apply to other photographers. So if you have actually asked people to discount their services and they have said no. A lot of these reasons I've covered are probably why they're not gonna do that. And honestly, again, if you don't want to pay someone's prices, you either need to find a way to pay their prices, so kind of reallocate your budget if it's a priority for you to hire that vendor, or what you need to do is simply move along to another vendor, another photographer, whatever it may be. Or if it's kind of close to your budget, perhaps do a little bit less hours with them. So I tell couples who are close to my budget, but kind of definitely don't wanna go over their own budget, I tell them, hey, instead of booking me for eight hours, book me for seven hours, and then closer to the wedding date, we can either make sure the timeline covers everything you want photographed, 
or sometimes closer to the wedding day, the budget opens up a little bit because maybe they have less guests coming or maybe something they thought was gonna cost more money ended up being a little cheaper. So then they have a little bit more money they can put back into photography, get that extra eighth hour that they wanted and kind of have it all. So you always have options that just aren't simply asking someone to take less money for the exact same amount of work. Um, again, if you have a service or a good that you are able to trade them with, even if you have like a beach house somewhere that they could go vacation at for a week, whatever it may be. I've seen all sorts of trades under the sun. I think those can be really great, but if they're not looking for whatever you're providing, that's okay. You have other options. You can ask for a smaller package, or you can simply ask them for a recommendation for someone whose services aren't quite as expensive. So I hope this video was helpful in explaining to you why a lot of us creatives don't want to discount. Yes, you can find people who will discount. That's just personally not what works for me. I try to have a very sustainable and profitable business. And I think that I'm worth the time and talent that I provide my couples with. So that's why I stick to my guns on my rates. It's also important to me that all my couples pay the same prices. So I would never want someone to find out that another couple got way cheaper rates because that's not really fair. So I believe in being fair to my couples and being fair to myself. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment in down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos, something you would like to see covered thoroughly, let me know. Have a great week. Bye.